people how are you all doing hope you're doing well guys it has become every day every minute every hour every seconds nigeria is usually you know coming on news and line on spotlight for one thing or the other but this is a another news that is on our table as we speak now guys that aqua bomb is catching it uh, i don't know the word to use about it it's catching it up again guys this is a breaking news that i just broke today but before we get into the news properly i will advise you to subscribe to this channel for more updates guys only if you are just coming across this channel for the very first time or you've been watching without subscribing guys i applaud you to help us put on that place reaching subscribe it will enable the bell notification to pop up you click on it and click on the one written or in that way you will be notified as soon as we put that content out there god bless you my sus uh, returning subscribers for being part of this channel all right <coughs> Another attack on Akwaibom station. Officers, we are sent to God. Let us see what is written in the news. One officer, Edogi Basi, has been sent to God early hours of Wednesday as the UGM attacked two police station in Akwaibom State. The officer was, you know, sent to God after gunmen around 6:30 a.m. had a discussion with Etim Equo Area Command and Division. A portion of the police station was also raised by the UGM that came to evangelize to them. The police public relations officer in the state, Odeko McDonald, confirmed the incidents to channel television in Uyo, the Akwaibom state capital. At about 6.30 a.m. today, men that looks like UGM in their numbers stormed with AK-47 rifles and other things they are using to go for their operation in two vehicles attack the rented building housing housing the 18 equal area command of the division the undoubted and vigilant police officers on the duty gallantly fought back repelled them and averted the intended Carnage. Unfortunately, the dedicated officer, one PC, Idogi Basi, said this the supreme prize why a small portion of the building was tossed, McDon said. He added that the government also attacked Ike, Ike Division, but we are successfully repaired by the officers without loss of lives or ems the police spokesperson however lamented over the unacceptable worrisome trend of incessant attack on police facilities and officers he assured that the police authorities are working to nip the ugly trend in its beat the commissioner of police cp uh Ami Bere Andrew, who is also going around. Let's take that again. The Commissioner of Police, CP, Ami Bere Andrew, who is also going around formations and division to ensure alertness and safety of officers, men, and the people has called on a law abiding citizen to volunteer timely information that will 
enable the police to attack the present security to tackle the present security challenges he said there has been a attack on security agencies in the southeast and south south which has compounded the security challenges in the two regions last week five police officers including the wife of an officer were killed by government during an attack on divisional police headquarters Odoro Ikwe in in the local government area of Akwa Ibom State. Also in April, two police officers were also taken away and a vehicle atta attached to the division raised during the attack. The statement concludes. Guys, this is what this uh, so-called presidency want for this country put things in order they refuse so what you bargain is what you you, you see uh, my my most sincere apology goes to the family of these people that is involved in this ups and down they have been told to give way just go go stay on your own leave that uniform so that you will go and suffer for what you know nothing about. Guys, their thoughts may be that the, the whole of the Nigeria, like they said, is owned by Fulani. They can do anything they like. No, you must listen to people that you said you are ruling. You must listen to them. No matter who you are, no matter what you do, you must surely listen to them. Did you not see that a full and a man was bragging on social media where they were interviewing him? That was an AIT saying that if you are for me and you are against me or whatever, that's the way he put it. That is to say that he is saying that why will Southeast governors, uh, sorry, certain governors held such a meeting without telling them? Fulani is the fault they are the owner of Nigeria. The earlier these governors open their eye, the better for them. So before they come together to do a meeting to ban open grazing in their own land, they must consult them. The Hizba police, they, 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 they initiated there. Who did they take permission from? Who? These people feel that every other region is a fool, that they must take order from them before they do that meeting, before they, they enact such law. Imagine such a thing. If you feel people have decided, you said you own the country, okay, let us opt out. Allow us to go. Let us stay on our own. You stay and own your country. They said no. It is by force, you, by, by fire, by force. Guys, this is so, so pathetic. This is so, so pathetic. Aquaibon State has been remembered. May God help them. May God save them. That's what I ought to say because if you do anyhow, you see anyhow. If this present uh, administration has been able to put things aright, make things work, and without people pointing a kissing finger on them, I don't think there will be this UGM men. I don't think so. But because they get what they bargain, let's see how it goes. There's a lot of uh, this thing is here. I will drop you a little video of that man saying that why would they gather and do such meeting without taking permission from them? Watch it and see the audacity in this man and know that this country <laughs> we are in for another almighty mess. Let's meet, meet in the comment section. Tell me your own opinion, what you think about it. Please, as you comment, comment constructively. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now is that uh, Gandhi said whatever you do for me without me is against me. Ask all those whatever 13, 15 governors that met in that hotel. Was there any of the Fulani leaders consulted? Any of the Fulani leaders consulted? So they're there making laws for people that they have not consulted. This is a problem with government, disconnected, out of touch with realities of people. You must sit down and talk with people you are making laws for. None of that gov those governors have sat down with Fulani leaders in wherever they are and tell them what we are planning to do.
or what we're going to do, or what alternatives are there. Mm. And then they're sitting down there and making laws. All right. Be careful. Bye.